going on to you crabs you have the strength the king of wands and then you have the two of pentacles right here the two of pentacles so for you crabs right um a lot of you very much so are kind of uh Okay, so a lot of you very much so are kind of being uh, talked about, <laughs> if I'm putting it plainly. You're being talked about. Um, someone is talking to you, trying to get to know you crabs, and you personally don't see them as a very viable dating option. <laughs> the strength card right here represents you're trying to be as respectful as you possibly can, but they see themselves as being with you but their their priorities are all whacked out their priorities are dysfunctional are dysfunctionally arranged right the 10 life values the spirituality health family you know what i mean uh appearance stuff like this um they don't they don't prioritize themselves they are too busy with the foolishness of, of ch i should say the stupidity of chasing after money all the time right the people who are so who worship money are the people who don't even have any right it's quite ironic but any, but anyway um you crabs are looking for a real relationship and so they started talking to you right you talking to them and their values is all over the place. What they value is not what it is that you crabs value at all. And this is why you got the strength card because you don't wanna hurt their feelings, but at the same time, you're not into them because their value system is off. You see them as individuals that, you know, they whatever it is that they do value, whether it's looks, because you'll have people who will talk about things like looks maxing, right? You'll have people, you know, so many things is, is, is about looks and clout, attention and stuff like this. You crabs are not dating for that, trying to be power couples, right? You're trying to be local celebrities, right? You're seen with this person and that, that person makes you look good like you're in some sort of PR stunt. That's not what it is. You crabs are actually trying to date for substance. And you crabs can just see the writing on the wall with some people that you're getting to know, yo. Like, you out here trying to really just date a couple of people, get to know a couple of people, see what type of value system that they have. And they're not on a very good value system. They're running around here and then they come to you with it and they think, hey, you know, let's hang out. But the thing is, is that if you crabs were less wise, you would have fell for it because you were willing to whatever it is that initially you may have been into you may have went ahead and given them a try but not anymore because you understand it's about the character the character will take care of themselves if a person has good character part of having good character is being able to be wise and being able to have vision as well right to be able to actually sacrifice short-term validation for long-term validation and success. So a lot of people, unfortunately, especially today, don't have that. But that's where it is that you crabs have the advantage. You are, right? The ability to be observant is a crab thing, right? I can't say that. I can't say or properly address y'all. You two don't want me to do that. So, um... The point that I'm trying to make here with that is the whole concept of being observant, being a watcher and all that stuff is a crab type of thing where you learn to observe, you learn to be patient, you learn to, to do big sacrifices for even bigger gains later. And you crabs are willing to let go of someone that may appeal to you as far as physically where they're attractive but you understand that the rest of their character is a wash they're dysfunctional they're you know they these people are attractive now 
but in the next 10 years, they're not going to be quite valuable to you at all. And the reason why they're not going to be quite valuable to you is because they're, they're not going to be quite valuable. They're not going to have value to you at all, right? It's because of the fact that they only are thinking about the now because they think that you crabs look real good. They think you're attractive too. So the King of Wands and the Two of Pentacles is about how you crabs essentially are learning how to pick better. You are looking through said options as you are out here trying to get to know people the way you two of you hang out and yeah y'all you getting flaked too you know boats honestly speaking both sides get flaked on both sides get flaked on i know plenty of you crabs in real life and all of that who get flaked on in real life and, you know, talk about your dating life or stuff like this and how many dates that, you know, y'all been on. And I'm talking about first dates. Y'all didn't necessarily do anything, but I'm just hearing it from the grapevine myself from knowing you crabs in real life and being kind of close to y'all and getting to know y'all a little bit. Not not very close. I ain't going to sit up here and lie, but close enough to where I get, I get a better understanding of the person's mentality. Right. I'm, I'm good. They're my friends, right? Like I'm cool with them. And um, y'all are just dealing with the nonsense as well, to be honest with you. Like it, like being flaked isn't just one-sided, you know? Both sides happen to have uh, this. Both sides get flaked on. And why that's so important even in the first place is because the Two of Swords and the Seven of Swords, which represents how it's, this is, you know, it's not like you going out and hanging out with a whole bunch of people and just smashing everybody. and do, That's not what it is for. Obviously, some of you might, right? Whatever. You're grown adults. Do your own thing, right? That goes for any zodiac sign. It is what it is. But for, the, for a lot of you, though, I should say, a lot of you understand the frustration of going out on multiple dates. It's frustrating. <laughs> it is frustrating because... You can't just get in good and, and get put your chips in with one person. It's this ideology that you have to get to know multiple people because people can't be functional. So that it's, again, it's not a lot of very good viable options. It just seems like you're looking for a needle in a haystack, right? And you're just going through this stuff and really trying to figure it out. And because of this, this is the catch 22, right? It, it, it looks bad. It looks bad if you were to say this to anybody, but you crabs know that you're not actually having any kind of romantic fun with all these people. Truth be told, you're probably not even getting anywhere near, anywhere near having romantic fun, if you know what I mean, because it you because it within the first, within the first or the second date, by the time that y'all hang out, they start to really show you that they are on some hyena time. <laughs> They are on some hyena time. So the, the the page of pentacles, the fool and the king of swords right here represents for you crabs. So you just have to pay attention to, to just go with that. If people are showing you that they are hyenas, that is a good thing. That's a good thing because what they're showing you is they're not built for this. They're not built to be in a good functional relationship. Do not try to go against the grain on this one trust me because there are consequences for ignoring what's right there in front of your face you know how many times i didn't did that type of stuff ignore what's right there in front of my face because the person was nice this is why i don't get down with that the niceties i don't care because person doesn't have anywhere to work person doesn't work but at the same time person is nice what am I supposed to do? The person doesn't work. Yeah, the person is nice moralistically, but the person doesn't have work ethic. They're not trying to, I'm talking about people that I was trying to get to know, right, in the past, because I don't date in the US anymore. But um, people that I've tried to get to know, they don't work. So I'm expected to, to pay, I did all that trash already. I'm expected to pay for everything. Guess what? nice moralistically they're nice 
but that nicety, that, that charm, that nicety is disarming. It's something that will, if you don't pay attention to the overall person and, and, and what they value, you will get caught up in that to where you dating this person, right? And then now it's, this person doesn't do a freaking thing. They don't do anything, freak. They don't do anything. They literally sit around the house and do nothing, right? You'll, you'll get caught up in that. Then, then, right, then somebody who's a good friend will ask you that you may be talking to this to. Well, what you mean? This person is real nice, but this person X, Y, Z. And that's because they completely ignored those real issues. Because what's happening here is they getting, again, they're getting disarmed. And what I mean when I say disarmed, I'm talking about they're, they are, they're literally getting dismantled from the charm. They're getting caught up with the idea of the morality of it. They're looking at it from a perspective of because this person is so nice, I just can't look at them as a person that is a parasite. And it's like, no, you, you have to understand that, that they do bring danger. The fact that this person doesn't want to get up and get it for themselves. Is a, but they're so nice is a problem because what it says is, is that that is a part of their overall plan. They are a parasite. They are nice to lure a person in and then get them caught up with the fact that they now use emotional, emotional, um, the emotional like baggage to get you caught up because now you don't want to leave the person because of how nice they are so i understand crabs dating multiple people trying to get to know people but trying but looking for one person and a person doesn't even necessarily have to be perfect it is a difficult thing because a lot of people out here they're not going to just tell you their credits <laughs> They're, you know what I'm saying? It's their credit score. Oh, my credit score is this. This is what I got going on. You have to actually peel back some of the layers and get to know them. So the fool and the king of swords represent, they think that they're being intelligent when all of this that they're doing is they're just running around in their own circles because you crabs got it. Y'all paying attention to the overall value of the character, you know, as opposed to what the person is showing you. And then the thing is that the emperor and the moon right here is you crabs are going to stay very patient and you're going to date and you're going to, you're, it doesn't, it's not even about the outcome of whether you stay by yourself or not, because there's, because there's advantages in both. You crabs are going to do the right thing. And what you're going to do is date. You're dating for value, not to drain it out of a person, but you're dating to find one person. The person does not have to be perfect. You're just looking for a person with a good value system because you crabs have a very good value system. So you're looking for your match or a match. Because just because, because people sometimes they only they only make it individualized when they don't seem to understand. You can have different matches. So. Across socioeconomic differences. This is why as I keep telling people, date for character. If you're not dating for character, it's wrong. And there's no exceptions to that. Because what people don't tell you, crabs, this is what I'm, and I'm getting deeper into the game, right? To kind of give you all a piece of information is the fact that you can have multiple matches. When people say find your level and all of that, they talking about what is good for you, but you can have good matches among social economic differences of the people that you date. What am I trying to say with that in a nutshell is you can have a good match with a person who's rich, a person who's, who's average working, a person who, you know what I'm saying, is down for a little while, but they're building themselves up. That again, the, the social economics doesn't matter. There's no exception to that. That matters, but it doesn't matter as much. What matters the most, and there's no exception to this ever. There's no, I've never seen it work out a different way. The, what matters is the character. 
And a lot of times people don't talk about this. People make it so that they only looking for one particular person specifically and that they can't match with anybody else. And that's totally not true. So let's clarify the moon. You can have multiple matches across different socioeconomic statuses. So you have the uh, Ten of Cups, the Ten of Swords, you have the Page of Swords, Five of Swords, and then you have the Seven of Wands to clarify the moon. So the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Swords, you, you crabs have plenty of options. You're going to be going out on plenty of dates. So once again, be very mindful about what it is that you're looking for. The Page of Swords, the Five of Swords, Seven of Wands, you will have such a clear understanding of what you crabs want because you are going to become very sociable. You're almost going to become as sociable as Gemini's, the social butterfly, because you're socializing so much. You're learning how to do it correctly and understand the things that people are not saying and what they're saying. So good on y'all. Trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 100,000 subs. I'm at 14,355. Oh my gosh. Y'all have completely ran with it and I absolutely love it. I can't tell y'all how much I appreciate it. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.